For centuries, half of the moon was hidden from us, a side we could never see. No telescope, no astronaut, no camera, until now. Thanks to NASA's latest missions, we finally know what's on the far side of the moon. And what they found there is more incredible and more mysterious than anyone expected. These discoveries are rewriting what we know about our closest neighbor in space and could change how we understand the moon forever. The mystery began a long time ago. To uncover the truth, we need to go back to the first mission that dared to look beyond what anyone had ever seen. Luna 3, 1959. It was 1959, the peak of the Cold War. The United States and the Soviet Union were racing to be first in space. Satellites had just started orbiting Earth, and the idea of reaching the moon still felt like something out of a dream. Then came Luna 3, a small unmanned Soviet spacecraft about the size of a washing machine launched on October 4, 1959. Its goal was simple but daring, to fly around the moon and take the very first pictures of the side no one had ever seen before. For all of history, we had only known one face of the moon. Because the moon turns at the same speed that it orbits Earth, the same side always faces us. The other half, the far side, had stayed completely hidden. When Luna 3's photos were sent back to Earth, scientists could hardly believe what they saw. The familiar moon we knew from telescopes, smooth and marked with dark planes called Maria, was gone. Instead, the far side looked wild and strange. It was covered with deep craters, tall mountains, and thick ridges. There were almost no flat areas like those on the near side. It looked older, colder, and far more damaged by time. Why was it so different? The pictures started debates that went on for decades. Some scientists thought the difference came from how the moon's crust formed thicker on the far side, thinner on the near side where lava once flowed more easily. But in 1959, all they had were a few blurry black and white images, like these. They showed only about 70% of the far side, but even that was enough to change everything. For the first time, people realized the moon wasn't one simple world. It had two sides, one bright and familiar, the other dark, strange, and full of secrets still waiting to be discovered. Decades passed, and technology caught up with our curiosity. Many years after those first blurry photos, NASA returned to the moon, this time with much better technology and a clearer mission. In 2009, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or LRO, began circling the moon. Its powerful cameras took sharp, detailed pictures showing every crater, ridge, and mountain in ways we'd never seen before. For the first time, scientists could study the far side up close and understand what it was really like. What they found was surprising. The far side wasn't just an empty gray desert. It was full of craters, tall mountains, and valleys shaped by billions of years of impacts. Each mark told part of the moon's violent and long story. After that, in 2011, NASA launched their next mission, the GRAIL. This time, it was different. They've sent two small spacecraft that flew side by side, carefully measuring tiny changes in the moon's gravity. This helped scientists look beneath the surface, like taking an X-ray of the moon itself. What they found was incredible. A huge, heavy mass buried deep in the moon under the South Pole Aitken Basin, one of the biggest and oldest craters in our entire solar system. Experts think this mass might be leftover metal from a giant asteroid that struck the moon more than four billion years ago. That discovery gave scientists a new way to see the moon, not just as a lifeless rock, but as a record of our solar system's violent beginnings. 
every crash, every scar, and every secret is still written beneath its dusty surface. The moon remembers everything, but the search didn't stop there. The next big step came when a critical mission finally reached the moon's far side, the Chang'e 4 mission. In 2019, space exploration reached a major breakthrough. China's Chang'e 4 mission became the first spacecraft to land on the far side of the moon, a place no one had ever visited before. But here's the challenge. This side always faces away from Earth. Normal radio signals can't reach it. To fix that, engineers used a relay satellite called Kuekiao, which circles behind the moon and passes messages between Earth and the lander. It was like setting up a space mirror so we could finally talk to the hidden half of the moon. When Chang'e 4 landed inside the von Karman crater, a huge impact site in the South Pole Aitken Basin, it marked the start of a new era of lunar exploration. Soon after, its small rover, U-22, rolled onto the surface and began its mission. The rover's cameras showed a rough, dusty landscape covered with gray rocks and uneven ground. It studied the soil and found minerals never seen before on the near side. This proved that the far side's crust formed in a different way, giving scientists new clues about how the moon's interior developed over time. U-22 also measured stronger radiation levels than expected, information that will help protect astronauts on future missions. From its quiet, shadowed world, Chang'e 4 sent back photos and data that amazed scientists. For the first time ever, we were studying the far side of the moon directly, from its surface, a place that had stayed silent for billions of years. Now, even after all these discoveries, one big question remains. What's really true about the so-called dark side of the moon? People often call it the dark side of the moon, and it sounds mysterious, maybe even a little eerie. But that name isn't exactly right. Here's why. The far side of the moon isn't always dark. It gets sunlight, just like the side we see from Earth. The reason we never see it is simple. The moon turns at the same speed that it moves around Earth, so one side always faces us, while the other stays hidden. Still, the name Dark Side stuck and sparked people's imaginations. Over the years, stories have spread about alien bases, secret space projects, and strange lights no one could explain. But the truth is much more interesting and completely real. When NASA and other space missions studied the far side, they didn't find aliens or hidden cities. They found the moon's history written in its rocks and dust. Every crater, ridge, and mountain holds clues about what happened billions of years ago, from huge impacts to the cooling of melted rock. Together, these marks tell the story of how the moon formed, how it changed over time, and how it's deeply connected to Earth's own story. What was once a mystery is now a part of how we understand where we came from. Now that we know what's really there, it's time to ask a bigger question. Why does it matter? What can the far side tell us about our past and the future of space exploration? Because it's like a time capsule, a frozen record of what the solar system was like more than four billion years ago. Its surface has barely changed, keeping the marks and scars from the time when planets were still forming. By studying it, Scientists can learn how the moon came to be, how planets grow and evolve, and even how Earth became the world we live on today. But it's not just about looking back. It's also about the future. The far side is quiet, shielded from all the radio noise that comes from Earth. That makes it the perfect place to build a giant space telescope, one that could look far beyond and pick up faint signals from the very first stars and galaxies that ever existed. Imagine standing there on that silent side of the moon, looking up at a sky filled with ancient light. Earth is hidden behind you, 
and the story of the universe lies before you. The side that once stayed in darkness now helps us see where we came from and where we're going. Thanks for joining this trip to the moon's hidden side, a place that went from mystery to revelation. If you enjoyed this voyage, don't forget to like, subscribe, and come back for more adventures through the universe. Because every shadow hides another story waiting to be discovered.